Hey, it's Aurelius Chen, and in this video, I wanna share with you a few email platforms that you can use to build your email list. Whether you're a small business owner, an entrepreneur, or an influencer, building an email list is essential today so that you can send out follow-ups and build that audience that where you're in complete control. So in this video, I wanna share with you a few email platforms that I've personally used myself and tried, and I won't go into depth in terms of the features and the benefits and every single uh, tool that they offer, but, and also this won't be a complete review of each platform. It's going to be more brief in terms of the features and the standouts and what I recommend you use if you're starting to build your email list or if you're already building an email list and you're thinking about changing platforms. Now, of course, this all depends on what your purpose is, what your business is. So for that, I'm going to share some details as well in terms of what they accept, uh, what types of businesses they accept. So without further ado, let's head on to the screen and go through these email platforms with you. Now, the first platform I want to share with you is one of the most popular ones that beginners start with, and that is MailChimp. I think the reason why most people start with MailChimp is because there's a free plan. Now, their free plan offers up to 2000 contacts or 2000 subscribers and not being able to pay, you know, having to pay that monthly fee is a perk. So if you are thinking of starting, then perhaps MailChimp is for you. But uh, you are, of course, limited with the features and the tools. And you can see here the audiences that you can create is one. If you're just starting out, MailChimp will do because they still offer things like uh, tagging and audience segmentation. So if you want to uh, tag them in with particular tags, so if they click a particular link, uh, then you know what they're interested in or not interested in. So these are the types of things you may use in the future. But if you do want to build multiple sets of audiences, then you're going to have to upgrade to their next plan, which is still quite affordable at $9.99. Now, the thing with MailChimp that you need to take note of when going to the acceptable use page, you'll see under prohibited content. So they mentioned things like multi-level marketing, affiliate marketing, uh, cryptocurrency. So if you are in any of these businesses, then uh, it's not acceptable you probably want to avoid using MailChimp. Now, why do they not accept these? You know, apart from the obvious reasons that it may seem uh, risky for them, it's because of their deliverability rate, which is what they call um, to, in order for them to have this high reputation in order to send your emails and uh, all the members and users' emails to the inboxes of their subscribers. And you want they want to... Uh, retain that high delivery rate so that uh, they, of course, are still in business. And with the rest of these videos, I will go through whether they also accept affiliate marketing and things like that, because I know for a fact, uh, many of you are doing affiliate marketing and they're promoting products. And perhaps if you do plan on promoting products as an affiliate, these are things you might want to consider before signing up and paying and building your email list and subscribers on that platform. Apart from that, MailChimp is a great way to just start building your email list. And if you do plan on creating your own products, then uh, go ahead and try MailChimp out. Now, the next email platform that I want to share with you is ActiveCampaign. Now, ActiveCampaign is more of a professional email email platform. That's at least my perspective and what I've seen uh, based around the business and uh, the people that the types of people that do use it. And throughout this video, I'm going to compare how much it's going to cost for a thousand subscribers or a thousand contacts on your email list on a monthly basis. Now with their light plan, of course, there's less features and the biggest one is probably the integration. So if you do plan on creating some sort of membership site and you want to integrate active campaign with your membership platform, then you might want to consider using or upgrading to the next plan above. If we take a look at the acceptable use policy again here, I did some research on what is acceptable and types of services and products you can sell and send campaigns through active campaign. You can see again that it doesn't allow affiliate marketing. Uh, any get rich quick schemes, which is the obvious work at home, things like that, multi-level marketing. So if you are in any of these businesses, again, you know, don't use active campaign because there's no point building on a platform where perhaps they may uh, close your account 
for one of these reasons and uh, they won't allow you to export your leads after that. It might happen, you know, so I'm not saying that um, you're not able to export your leads, but it does go to say that, you know, you shouldn't just rely on a platform just because you like their service. Now, as a side note, most of these email platforms allow you to create opt-in forms. So the actual forms that em embed on your website or blog, these are things that also come with many of these email platforms. So you can see here, we've got uh, features, subscription forms, dynamic content, email segmentation. You can do some split testing as well and all these types of features. So again, I'm not gonna go through every single feature. These are just the standouts. You know, I'm comparing the prices, contrasting between uh, how much it's gonna cost for a thousand contacts and where they, they, they accept affiliate marketing or things like that. Now let's move on to the next email platform, which is called uh, Drip. Now Drip again, doesn't really accept, um, let's first go here. It's saying in order to maintain strong deliverability again for our customers, the following categories are not allowed. Uh, affiliate marketing, horoscope reports, real estate, even real estate. See, so these are industries that are higher risk. Uh, they note that by representing the warranting, you are making a legally enforceable promise. Drip may refuse service, close accounts of any users and change eligibility requirements at any time. So they can, again, close your account if they feel you're getting a lot of unsubscribes. So a lot of people are unsubscribing to your list and you're getting a high spam rate as noted here. Now I will name a couple of services that not so much support, but it's not in their terms and conditions where it says affiliate marketing is prohibited. But I'll go through that uh, as we go along this video. But with Drip's pricing, we can see a thousand people in your account, you'll pay $49 each month. So we can see $49 per month for Drip, and we can see $29 per month for Active Campaign. And MailChimp for a thousand, it's free up to 2000. But once you've exceeded obviously 2000, then you move on to the next plan. The issue, I've tried Drip personally myself, and the issue with Drip is that their form builder is not as user friendly. So if you are a beginner and you're not so much tech savvy, then it's going to be difficult to integrate an opt-in form to your uh, web page. If you do have a developer, then they will come in and get the code and then build an opt-in form for you. And they don't have that many choices of opt-in forms that you can use, uh, you know, in terms of, you know, building your own opt-in form, drag and drop, make it really intuitive. So they don't have that sort of uh, wizard or that sort of uh, tool in place. Now let's move on to the next email service, which is GetResponse. I've used GetResponse for many years and perhaps since I started. And uh, what's, I guess, a plus with GetResponse is that there's nothing mentioned in terms of whether they accept affiliate marketing and those types of businesses. For a thousand contacts, you're looking at $49 per month and it has most of the features of, you know, all the other email platforms such as contact scoring and tagging. One of the features I love about GetResponse is that there's an opt-in form builder that you can use, that you can go through. It's as easy as dragging and dropping, you know, certain elements and fields and buttons so that you can create your own opt-in forms for your website. GetResponse, in my opinion, is made for online marketers or marketers in general. You can see that not just with email marketing, they also have uh, webinars and also sales funnel builders and webinar funnels. So these are extra things that uh, you might like, but in, in my opinion, just focus on the email side of their service. I mean, if you're looking for a webinar platform, I wouldn't go with GetResponse uh, just because they don't specialize in that and there's only so many features that they have. So if you're looking for a webinar software, do look into Easy Webinar or GoToWebinar. So the bottom line with GetResponse is that based on their terms and the acceptable use, there's nothing really mentioned in terms of affiliate marketing, whether they, uh, whether that's a prohibited. Now let's move on to the next service which is the probably the most popular one in the internet marketing space one that's been around since I've you know since I started my online business 13 14 years ago with Aweb there's nothing mentioned in their acceptable use or their terms and conditions about affiliate marketing not that I can find at least their pricing goes $19 per month 
for up to 500 subscribers. So between 500 and one to two, two and a half thousand, you're looking at $29 per month. With Aweber, you can do segmentations, you can create sign-up forms, and of course, integrations with many other services. So those are just a few email platforms in the whole space of, I guess, email platform industry. Uh, if you were to ask me which one I recommend you use if you're just starting out, it really depends on what, again, what your purpose is and what you plan on doing in your business. Are you going to do affiliate marketing? Are you going to promote products and services? Then consider using either Aweber or GetResponse. And out of the two between GetResponse and Aweber, which one would I recommend? I would say give GetResponse a try just because it starts at $15 per month for their basic plan for a thousand contacts versus Aweber's uh, plan of $29 per month for the same amount of contacts. On the contrary, if you're not planning on doing any affiliate marketing, then consider using MailChimp just because it's free for up to 2000 subscribers. And that gives you an opportunity to learn email marketing, sending out broadcasts, creating follow-up messages, and overall build your email list. All right, so that's all for this video. Hope you got value from this. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks a lot for watching and be sure to watch these next relevant videos to help you continue growing your online business.